hello viewers so today we are here uh, to check how to uh, track uh, the complete validation uh, errors see uh, I have a page uh, login this is the sa uh, sample uh, application that I uh, generated from the MVC uh, template so uh, it's generated me the uh, basic uh, login setup in account controller if you try to create the project uh, by using the template given by the Microsoft so you will uh, get to know that so here if it is model state is not valid so normally what model state it does is uh, that uh, if uh, this uh, two validation is failed suppose I try to enter wrong email ID or uh, if I try to submit the button without uh, entering any fields so it will throws me the error so uh, this error I want to uh, take it a uh, little bit uh, deep and I need to add it uh, in my uh, logger or somewhere so how to get all the error message see normally uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, it does that uh, if model state uh, see normally model uh, state uh, contain all the validation error uh, etc so how to track that uh, is uh, today's uh, topic that I going to show before that I just uh, go on to keep the breakpoint and uh, I want to show you how the normally model uh, state uh, do the stuffs so here I am using uh, the Visual Studio RC uh, version of uh, 2017 okay uh, it's trying uh, trying me to attach the URL so I already uh, kept the breakpoint uh, in my uh, login uh, post method so this uh, account controller if you try to uh, create uh, some sample application you will get that in account controller http post method uh, login you will get it so just to close this all the stuffs okay so default it will enable me the client side validation that you can go on the off uh, by using there is a default key that is added in a app settings in a web config so you make it false so so that you can um, uh, it will uh, trigger the server side uh, validation okay okay one sec still it is attaching my process okay and okay my process is attached so now I uh, I'm just uh, go to the login page and try to click the login button without uh, entering any uh, field and I'm trying to submit so it uh, validation uh, become false now so why because if you expand the model state uh, you have a uh, three keys in the three keys uh, email and the password if you go to the values okay there is a count errors so error if you expand that it's email field is so uh, basically uh, three errors we are getting what, what is the error is I can select the remember me and uh, basically the email and password okay fine anyways uh, uh, see how uh, this validation normally works is you can add it to uh, the model uh, I am using the login view model here I mentioned that the uh, record field and the email address it should be a email address if uh, uh, we are trying to enter some other uh, text uh, without it then it will throw me the error so that is what the attribute this attribute helps us to uh, validate uh, that is what uh, the error which is getting in the model ship ok now we can go on how to attack uh, or extract this error message and uh, uh, log to somewhere else so uh, let me stop uh, doing that and I will try to write my code so here I am uh, going to loop my model state whatever the values because uh, the error message uh, that I already expand and uh, uh, showed you uh, so uh, that uh, values mostly contains the error message so now uh, we got uh, the model state 
with us so now uh, next level uh, we need to uh, find the model state uh, dot error so we need to extract the only the errors so let me loop again okay. this time we need to get the model errors model error okay this time we'll keep the name as model error So now uh, this model error uh, contain uh, all the model uh, error that is uh, defined or it's uh, got uh, executed. So uh, you can uh, do something here. Okay, do something with that uh, model dot uh, model values. So I'll just uh, you can write in a st string. Okay, I just want to show you something. Okay, something like uh, error message you want to get the error message model error a dot error message or uh, you can uh, pass uh, directly uh, to some method okay uh, something okay log method in the log method you can uh, directly uh, pass your model error you will get all the exceptions uh, error message everything then you can uh, log it uh, in a somewhere else okay so let me again try to run my application you see uh, so every uh, loop uh, how many error message that i get it will completely loop so that is what uh, this uh, function is going to do. So what I done uh, shortly will check. So normally uh, we know that uh, the error normally it's uh, there in the model state value section. So uh, by extracting the value, we will get a complete model state of values. So under under the y value, you will uh, have the errors. So I will just move the errors and how many errors that are we. So it will going to write here. So you can write uh, one more method and uh, do with uh, whatever the error that you got. So my process is attaching. So it's a bit uh, different uh, that uh, it's doing attach process. Normally uh, I'm using now a community version, but still uh, some uh, stuffs they changed in a debugging stuffs. Okay. Don't, don't worry that one. okay now I try to click the login button okay so model state is valid is false so it's enter in my mother okay okay first now I got the first model state okay so now a uh, model state contain the value sections so value and the error so now the second level what we did we only uh, taking the error in a model error because that is a type of model error okay so we got only a model error so email uh, field plus exception anyways this is not an exception this is a custom uh, we done for the record field so it will going to write in my error message yes so uh, this is the way guys so we got a uh, two uh, type of uh, error one is uh, email address field is required and uh, password so that is what uh, it's right here password field is required hope you understand uh, how to extract the error by uh, using the model um, type so by using uh, getting the by mentioning the type you can extract uh, the errors and you can get the whatever the error so we we have two errors so that's it so that is what all about so hopes you understand so uh, you can try the same uh, to extract the model state uh, validation message you want to play with uh, 
uh, something else that yes you can use this uh, procedure and you can proceed thanks for watching the video guys you have any better solution uh, if you want to share with us please comment us even user can uh, feel yes uh, they can get a better solution in that so if you have still a uh, doubt queries on what I did uh, you can comment if you not subscribe our channel go and uh, click the subscribe button and subscribe it